All right, so if you are sick and tired of hearing us talk about email marketing, too bad, so sad, you need to deal with another three minutes, I'm hoping to keep this to three minutes, uh, about email marketing and about four types of emails that you should be sending people in their inboxes, okay? This is more of a video that gives you some ideas, so when you're sitting there thinking, what should I be sending? Hey, I got you, four things today. So first, before I even get started at all, I wanna talk a little bit about email. It feels like marketing is cyclical. It feels like things go into trend and then things fall out of favor and then things come back in again. For a long time, email was kind of viewed as, oh, you're gonna spam people, don't do emails, nobody likes emails. It's been making a comeback and, and FishEye's been kind of at the front end of, of uh, riding that trend up and we're seeing so many of our clients get a ton of value out of it that um, we think that this is the type of thing that every single business should be doing. So if you're just looking for ideas, hoping to give you four today. So email type number one I'm gonna lay out is called the indoctrination series. Now, this is an email series you send when someone becomes a brand new subscriber and you wanna like, you wanna literally like indoctrinate them into what you're about. You don't wanna add someone to your list uh, they've never gotten an email from you, you before, and then the second they sign up for an email, they get one and it just disappears for six months. Like you wanna make sure that you have a series in place. So a subscriber goes from not being a subscriber to being a subscriber, that there's, maybe it's two, maybe it's four, maybe it's as many as eight to 10 emails that are sequenced and automated that introduce them, indoctrinate them into your company, into your brand, into what you're about, this is a chance for you to tell your story, try to connect with them a little bit. One of the biggest pieces of advice I can give to you here is just be self-aware and understand that if you're a company that has a, a pretty benign product or service, I think a 10 email series of an indoctrination series might be overkill. You might be able to get away with like three really effective emails. So just have a little bit of self-awareness, but indoctrination from the second you get them to be a new subscriber is a huge type of email to send. And if you're not doing it, I would suggest it. Number two, breaking news. Breaking news and announcements. Anytime you have something that may feel like it's insignificant inside your business, remember, if you have subscribers on your email list that are interested in learning more about what you guys offer, what you're doing, the product or service you're offering, news that may not seem that big to you might seem big to your, your, uh, your customer base or your email list. So think through it. Again, like I talked about in number one, have self-awareness here, but if you have a new product line coming out that you're excited about, or even if you're just like, oh, it's just a new product line, we're just gonna get it going, it's no big deal. No, make it a breaking news. Make it a, hey, in three days, we're gonna announce something that we're really excited about and we hope you keep your eyes peeled. And then in three days, send them that email and say, breaking news, we just added this brand new product to our, you know, fleet of products and we're super excited about it. Here's a video to check it out. Here's a blog where you can learn more and here's a button where you can order some for yourself. I think the breaking news and announcements is something that we probably undersell um, as business owners, but as marketers, when I put my marketing cap back on, I'm always like, breaking news and announcements, great types of emails. Number three is the value add email. So this is an opportunity for you to do a little bit of reverse psychology. Now, as marketers and as business owners, we're, we're constantly thinking about the types of things we wanna say to customers, to say to employees. But what I would challenge you to do with this value add email is I would challenge you to put yourself in their shoes. Really try to put yourself in the shoes of your customer and think, what do I want to see or hear from you know, my business once you put yourself in their shoes? And think, what's valuable to me? Truly, what's valuable? Because honestly, I get tons of emails still to this day of things where I'm like, gosh, whoever sent this email was not thinking about what's valuable for me. They're thinking about what's valuable for them, a box they can check. If they're like a marketing manager, probably just so they can check it off and say, hey boss, yep, I sent that email off with the special that you wanted, but it really provided no value. I would really think through and say, what is someone gonna get value from, from me, and send them that. And even if it's something basic, you don't really, and, and, until you put yourself in the foot or in the feet of your customers, you're not gonna be really providing them the information that they need, so think through that, the value add email. All right, number four, I'm probably going way over time, but number four is gonna be called just regular newsletters, okay? And I can't emphasize the word regular enough. I think there's been something huge that's happened in email marketing where we used to think about it as like a spray and like the term we hear all the time and at FishEye we hate it, e-blasts, just blasting, mass blasting, like, that, that's, that type of thinking I think needs to evolve a little bit. If you have an email list, I would suggest getting into a regular system of some sort, whether it's, I mean, if you have the ability and the content to go daily, 
and the, the type of product or service that could benefit from that, go daily as long as you're providing value. What we suggest for a lot of our customers is to go weekly or monthly, but stick to it. Try not to go three, four, five, six months without sending something. Try not to be irregular where you're sending four emails in three days because all of a sudden you put your email hat on and you're like, oh, we got to send out a bunch of emails and then forget about it. Get regular, get consistent. Some of our partners and stuff that we've been working with, we're sending emails every Friday, every Sunday, regular newsletters, and then that newsletter can flesh out all sorts of things. It can be kind of a, it doesn't have to be about one specific thing. It can kind of lay out, hey, here's kind of what's been going on inside of our company. Here's a couple of new services we've added. Here's a new whatever we've added. And you can kind of work through three or four stories when you have that newsletter template built. But we think regularity is huge and it's gonna help you stay in the inbox. It's gonna help your emails continue to get open and it's gonna help your users continue to stay engaged. So there it was, I probably went way over time. There's four. We could have made this video, I, could have, I probably could have thought of two dozen, but these are four that if you're not doing, I think there's a ton of value to it. So I'm gonna stop talking, you can get to work, uh, work on those emails, and you can have a great day. See ya.